That is what is reflected in your eyes. If it is in you to not invest that kind of time and download an image or pay for an image and resell that, because there's a different bottom line for you that simply reflects on what your focus is. And, I, and, that, and that is the fear, that's the angst when they talk about modern mass and the mass that pass. I suspect it's not simply a discussion on the mass and the artistry, it's more discussion on society and where it is. It is more discussion on society and where it is. Right? Because it means that if you have a more conscientious public, republic, then they invest more in the things that they do. They hold certain ideals closer. Right? Issues like and it, what is put into the small things get reflected in the big things. So if you could spend time to see something and find its craft, find its center, its symmetry, what is being said through it, how it reflects you, then it means your attention to other things regarding your development as a society flows from the same place right so in terms of what is the significant changes that is also a significant change i think the intellectual attention to the mass and masquerade and the modern carnival is not as rigorous as it was. If you think of a midnight rubber speech, you think of a Pierogonal speech or a Piro speech, right? not even so much a Pierogonal, and they're two different characters, right? The Piro would recite passages from Shakespeare, Macbeth, King Lear, passages from the Bible, literary works, and they would recite these things for you on the streets. You know? The Pierogonad will take words that are seemingly difficult to spell and spell it in his own distinct way. But it's really using his creativity. Right? But that's not that wasn't born in the masquerade. That was born in, in, in how people view themselves or what they and their attention to their intellectual worth and output. Read more, I mean basic conversations were conversations on, on different things. If you read um, Sheila James's Beyond the Boundary, he talks about that. People would greet each other and talk about on books. When you talk about some of the older generation who are seemingly, who we scoff at and think um, is more illiterate than us, they are much more aware in terms of what um, how the world would, that generation would get up every day and read the papers. As a rule, um, they knew a lot more references. Right? And I'm not saying we don't know, we don't have our own, but... But if you're talking about differences, then it's that kind of attention towards the craft as that's, that's also a significant change. All right? So you have that intellectual rigor behind it, not being there. You have that um, shift of it being a cultural expression, which is what you spoke about, for it being a more commercial activity. Right? And if you think about what the bottom line is in both, then you start to see where and why the changes. Where they are and why they are. Um, 
it's usually good to identify three along the top. So if there's another change, if there is another change, another significant change, um, I might say the median, the median, and impact of the median on the color. It's not an often looked at relationship. And it's why I think I started this by saying what people remember of costumes and costume spas. Because we still don't have a repository, a great repository of, of this expression. There's no way you could go and look and see what the bands in the 1950s or the bands in the 1970s or the bands in the 1980s looked like. You might get a name, a token name from the era and a token picture from the era. But to say a catalog of images you don't get. Right? And that has changed significantly. In terms of people recording themselves as well, would have changed significantly. Right? So now everybody has a phone and a camera and, a, and some way of, of image and then to be uploaded for everybody to see. Also in terms of the media, and we forget the power that they have, they, they get to choose what goes on TV, and they get to choose what plays on the air, and they get to choose um, what gets printed. Right? So a lot happens in the masquerade now a lot happens that just simply does not reach into that public space, right? There are few, few exposés of these school bands and them making their masks, you know? Few, except a token one done by a TV6 or a CNN of these community bands. But if you go on the streets, they exist. People who simply go out, still make their own costume, not associated with anybody else and play their mass. And that has always been the art form. Right? So identifying changes and identifying goods and bads, you also have to look at the perception of it. So is it really, is the carnival now really only these bands that we think they are? It's a question that I want to ask. Right? You know, is it really dying anyway if people think it's dying? So those are the significant changes. The role of the media in reflecting the masquerade, um, its movement from cultural expression to uh, commercial activity, and the tussle of the balance in between. And what was the last one? Media. The media. The culture. The community. I think it was something regarding the community, right? I forget what it is now, but those are the same expressions.